Hey guys, so you're interested in our original set for the Dr. Locks line, right? So I'm here, I'm the owner of Dr. Locks. I'm a loctician of 15 years and I personally made these products myself and we're still making it in our facility here in Norcross, Georgia. And so you might've already used our travel kit and so, or you might've heard of Dr. Locks, right? So I'm gonna to explain to you each product so that you understand what to do, what is it, what's going on. So we have the pre-cleanse, okay? The pre-cleanse was developed because I found that with some people, cause you know, locks are like a sponge. Um, I found that I wanted something that will loosen up dirt and old oils and locks before I went to the shampoo uh, stage. I wanted so to pull this stuff out. And not all the times a shampoo really did the job. So I wanted to um, pull things up to the surface so that the shampoo was easier. So here's the pre-cleanse. The pre-cleanse is formulated to do that. Um, what you'll notice, if you are the person that has buildup, this is actually very, this is especially recommended for you. What will happen, it's gonna actually get worse before it gets better. What you're gonna notice, cause you're gonna wet your hair, um, you can wet your whole entire head, um, what you're going to do is spray this in the area that you're having problems. If you're not having any problems, you can just spray and spray all over. And what you're going to do, you know, spray in those areas, and then you're going to run some warm water or hot water in those areas and run your finger through your lock or through your roots. And what you're going to notice, every, and if, the, if there's anything in that area, it's going to rise up to the surface and you'll start seeing it. So some people will say, oh my gosh, what's going on? but it's good because it's coming out because with locks, they're like sponges. They will sit in the middle of your hair. And might not add, I had locks for 10 years. This is something I personally went through as well. And so you can actually do that process about uh, two times, three times, however, how many times you feel like it. Also keep in mind, one question I get a lot is like, I have buildup, like how long is it gonna to take to get out? So it takes as long as it, it took for you to get to that point. So sometimes people have a little bit of buildup. Some people have an average amount. Some people have a whole lot. A lot of times when someone has a whole lot of buildup, it's because of a product they were using. It's a part of, it's, it's because of the, the time frame that it took to get to that point. So a lot of times when I had, um, when I was in the salon, and I would see buildup in a client's hair, the shampoo bowl, and we got as much as we could with the amount of time that they um, scheduled. I would, but I noticed that there were still some that could probably still come out. I would remind them that they, to, to remind me next time, because a lot of times I want to pat my clients on their, their wrists and say, don't do that no more. And then they come back where I'm like, didn't I tell you? So I would tell them before I, I start rolling my neck um, to remind me that we, I, that I told them that this may be some more, it may be some more that come out next time. And then I'll remember. And then the, the next time when they come, it's a little bit per each person's situation. Sometimes it might take a several washes, you know, but just understand the number one way to get rid of build, build up is to stop using the thing that caused the build up. And if you're not sure that will require some type of, um, deep dive, understanding, and, and, and research for what you've been doing. 